With Prime Minister Trudeau's announcement this week of $650 million for women's reproductive health, we wanted to find out what the impact of that money might be. As we mentioned earlier, this follows the Trump administration's move to cut funding to any international organization that performs abortions, provides women with information about other abortion services, or lobbies for abortion to be made legal or more available in their country. IPASS is a global organization dedicated to ending preventable deaths from unsafe abortions. Lisa Kimbo leads the Africa Alliance of IPASS in Nairobi, Kenya. The Canadian funding comes at, therefore, a very critical time as we are starting to look at the, the impact of uh, Trump's global gag rule. Um, it will come in to support uh, availability of um, contraception commodities and therefore um, enable women, uh, and especially women in low and uh, middle income countries such as Kenya, to still get access to contraception services. It will enable us to continue to provide um, the training and the services to to the women that, um, that need it. And what we saw in the, the when the gag rule was imposed before was that even the outreach services, the information um, to communities was hugely curtailed because organizations that would be providing outreach information services in communities were, would, not, uh, would not be able to do so. So we trust that um, this funding will go a long way to cushion the effects of the Trump global gag. 